Hello and welcome everybody. Today I want to talk about casino collectibles. Now this channel has been around for many years, six years, seven, I don't know how many years, but it's been around for a while. And it's kind of gone through some stages. Like I talked a lot about stock poker chips. These are some casino collectibles here, but I talked a lot about stock poker chips, all right? So anything from ceramics, you know, talking about priorities, how I don't like leaded chips because of kids. And so I kind of end up always at ceramics, but metal slug ABS chips are also in my collection. I also have some China clay sets and some used casino sets. So we've explored this a lot and people have contacted me and I'm surprised at how wonderful poker chips are. Like I know parents who use poker chips as rewards for their kids. It's like their family currency. You've been really good today. Here's a thousand, you know, and then their kids are like, we, and they love the poker chips. And it's just like mom feels like she won the WSOP when she just has piles of poker chips that her kids are giving her because they want to buy stuff, right? So, I mean, poker chips, anything from like home games to, you know, family currency to just fun collectibles. Stock poker chips are great because they, you know, here, let me just show you. What I'm, I'm just babbling here, but I can show you because they're great because you can use them for so many things. And I review stock poker chips because they're readily available for everybody. Like group buy chips. Do I have any group buy chips kicking around here? Like, okay, here we go. I hear some Matsui. So these were like group buy on poker chip forum. Do I have, I have some poker chip forum, something around here. So poker chip forum have these group buys where you can go in and you can get a good price for like, you know, a group by design, whether it be from like Sunfly or from Matsui or whoever, you can get some awesome, you know, kind of semi-custom group by chips, which are great, you know, so we re review those, but I don't like to review group by chips because unlike stock poker chips, they're not readily available. So I review some Sunfly chips, you know, three years later, these Lucid Diamonds are still available as long as there's no pandemic related shutdowns. You know, they're still available three years later. Group buys are like one and done. Once the group buys over, it's like these chips are not available to the public unless you buy them on the secondhand market, which is very rare. And, you know, so that's why I try not to review these. Okay, so I've covered a lot of stock poker chips, re represented all the materials and the manufacturers. So I feel like we've covered that pretty well. And I'm going to keep up with that. But moving on on this channel. So we're going to keep doing stock poker chips. We're going to keep doing custom poker chips, but something that we like to focus on here are collectibles. So we're going to talk a little bit about casino collectibles after we play a hand. This is just a paper deck, autumn themed, autumnal. Here we go. Bicycle, autumn themed um, paper cards. I think the jokers are out of here. If you find some, if we, today, if we find some instructions as to how to play poker, I'll laugh. Hey, that worked pretty well for paper, the weave shuffle right there. Generally, I don't do that because the corners will fray. So we're going back to a dealer shuffle. I call it a dealer shuffle, but dealers now use the automatic, autumn, autumn, automatic. <laughs> oh, sometimes my dad jokes. Automatic shufflers. So dealers don't really shuffle that much anymore. I went back to my default weave shuffle. All right, no trickery. We're just going to use these collectibles. We've just bet all of our collectibles and we're just going to play, play a hand. We're going to put this cut card on the bottom. We, I always put the cut card on the bottom so people sitting to my left can't see the bottom card and gain an advantage. All right, we're going to include Jane Doe, our favorite person. All right, here we go. Then we're going to flop. Should I look at my cards? Sometimes I go without looking at my cards. And guess what? The results don't change, but I got this one in the bag. I can tell you right now, I've won this one. There's, uh oh, there's no way Jane is gonna beat me on this one. Do you know why? Because guess who has the seven? <laughs> the only way she's gonna beat me if she has that four or that nine, which she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it always feel this good to win at poker? This is why we play poker. This is why we keep Jane Doe around because the one in every 10 videos that I beat her, it feels good. All right, so collectibles are fun to collect. So just real quick here, this is kind of how I collect. This is just my opinion. Give you, 
you know, it's fuel for thought. You can decide how you want to collect. But I like these airtight cases for a lot of my chips that I really like. Like I like these Chinese, these Win Chinese New Year ones. Oh, here's a money tree that was owned by Mapes. Look at this, TR King. More money tree. And so these are some more modern, like this is a Jack obsolete. And then I have, you know, just some, cause this is just some random casinos. Oh, this is a lot of Jack stuff. Here's the Cromwell. You guys know the Cromwell. Harrah's, Harrah's. Oh, look, one of my old custom business card chips. Horseshoe, horseshoe. Yeah, these are, off, yeah, so here are some Sans chips. Anyway, nothing special in that, in that tube. That's just fun. I like keeping them in tubes and organized. So that's one way that I collect. Just trying to get them out of the way at the moment. Um, I also like these silver. What are these called? Um, they are. They have certain machines, the silver strikes. They have these certain machines, the silver strike machines, where when you hit a certain reward, you can win these awesome silver coins. And these silver coins hold a little bit more value than the actual silver themselves. And they have different ones. Here's a $40 one. Here's a $10. Yeah, $10 gaming silver token, fine silver. I love these things. So I collect some silver strikes. It's always fun to do. And then I also collect casino chips, but different than like just my collection that I keep for myself. I have some that are family hits or family favorites or my friends really like and so I keep them in these cases who, who makes these cases let me see if I can find this Numis it's the Numis case I think it's like a 39 millimeter Numis case so you can see like my friends or family are always like let me look at the I want to see the Bally's chip I want to see the Metallica chip, you know, or a variety of them. Here's an original Bellagio one. I like keeping them in this case because when they're in these airtight cases, I don't know about you, but I always had my friends and family in particular, especially teenagers, they're always trying to pry these open. Oh, this one isn't an airtight case. This is one of the Amazon cheaper cases. They're always trying to pry these open because they want to feel the chip. But when I put them in here, you know, kind of sealed with these like holographic stickers. They're just like, they don't try to open it. They're just like, oh, okay. You know, and they just stack them and keep moving on. <sighs> People love Britney Spears. I want to see your Britney Spears chip. All right. Yes. She makes the news a lot. It's something about a lawsuit. Anyway. Oh, this is a hotel. See, there's, you know, the casino. So we talked about silver strikes. We talked about poker chips. There's hotel room keys. There are some awesome hotel room keys especially when they have resident comedians or resident bands, music stars, all sorts of fun things like that. The other interesting thing about casinos are you can get sets. So here's some Bud Jones roulette chips, again from Jack. I don't even have a roulette table. One of my friends in Georgia has a roulette table, a really nice roulette wheel. But, you know, these, you know, Bud Jones are super awesome. I love these just to have a set of these as a collectible, you know? So, gosh, I love casino collectibles. And I'm just scratching the surface here. Like I said, this is just fuel for thought. What do you like to collect? Someone please say huge neon signs, like the neon museum. So just different ways I collect, you know, I have like my show, my show and tell collection. I have my like for me collection and I have like set collecting. It's just a lot of fun. And look at this. Can I show you one more thing? <laughs> Sometimes I get this. <laughs> That's me right there. It's hard to see with my little hat, but it's like the best dad ever, you know? Face cards here. Oh dear. Collecting is great. Excited to read your comments, your thoughts. Uh, in future videos, I have the high roller coming up in the next couple of weeks, and I have some comparisons I'm going to do. Casino versus stock, stock versus stock. Custom, group buy versus stock versus group buy versus custom. And I have some more design and some more poker chip construction ideas. We'll see. We'll talk about this in future videos. I've been extremely busy. I appreciate all my patrons. Thank you for your support sticking with me, especially, you know, through 
these pandemic times. It really means a lot to me to have support from patrons. Huge shout out to pokerchipforum.com. If you're not on there, get on there, say hi to me. I have an account on there and I, resp I respond to all messages that are not spam. I've never had a spam message, but if I did get one, I wouldn't respond to it. Just so you know. Hobby Philic on pokerchipforum.com is a great place to reach me. I'm gonna put up a, a little list of my social media as well because there I've had reports that people are saying that they're me and they're not. I don't give things away to random people or offer you rewards or ever ask you to send me money anywhere other than like Patreon. So I really appreciate your support. You can check the description for my Amazon shop. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases for the link to Patreon if you would like to become a patron. And I'll probably also throw in a link to Poker Chip Forum so you can see my account and contact me if you want. Hope to read everybody's comments and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.